When was the time you said yes to something, even though you didn't have all the information? And it ended up being amazing. For me, it was when I decided to pick up a new hobby and try out improv lessons two years ago. Improvisation, or improv, is a type of ensemble theater where improvisers make up theater on the spot, taking life suggestions from audiences like you all. In improv, there is a core concept of yes and, where the improviser says yes to whatever their partner offers and build on top of it. Reflecting back, this is a common thread that has been happening in my life, both personally and professionally. Opportunities came along with distinct offers. I said yes and grew with them. I said yes when I was 18 to pursue an education in the US, leaving everything and everyone I knew from Taiwan, also known as the land of um, pineapple cakes, bubble tea, ding tai fong, and semiconductors. <laughs> and on top of this decision, I got acclimated to sitting toilets instead of squatting toilets. I got used to portion sizes that are usually meant for two. And I also got accustomed to people asking you, hey, how's it going? Without always expecting a thorough answer. <laughs> I said yes to trying Life Octopus, or Sanakji, in South Korea. And I learned that the suckers continue to function even without the input from the brain. I said yes to traveling to Peru with three people I knew and four people I didn't know. Imagine traveling with strangers. And I had an amazing time exploring Machu Picchu and the Sacred Valley in the Andean Highlands, where we all bonded over a shared food poisoning experience at different points of the trip. I said yes to becoming co-host on the Azure podcast just four months after I joined my first job out of college. And because of that, I got the privilege to learn from the experts. I got to develop a framework of asking questions. And I also got to open a lot of future opportunities for myself at Microsoft. I wasn't sure if I was able to take classes, adapt to a new culture, and grow independent all at the same time. I wasn't sure what to think when I put these squirming tentacles into my mouth. I wasn't sure if I would have had a good time going on a long trip that was almost two weeks long with people I didn't really know. I wasn't sure if I was capable of interviewing these experts that have experience in the tech industry longer than I have ever been alive. Saying yes has worked wonders for me thus far. But what do I know as a 29-year-old? Hopefully, Mark Twain has a teeny bit more credibility than I do. He once said, 20 years from now, when you look back, you'll be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did do. What is something you wish you had done when you were a kid, a teenager, or even now as an adult? What is that business idea you've been putting off just because you're waiting for that right moment so that you'll succeed for sure? When his former CFO offered him the idea of launching a low-cost airline in Australia, Branson said yes, even though there were no presidents. 
Opportunity favors the bold. If someone offers you an amazing opportunity, but you don't know how to do it, say yes, and then figure out how to do it afterwards. This yes and mentality is what led Sir Richard Branson, the founder of Virgin Group, to the success of his company. Saying yes expands the arena we can play in, opening us up to opportunities and challenges we never thought before. I wouldn't be where I am right now if I didn't say yes to moving to the US when I was 18. Saying yes encourages collaboration, many times leading to new friendships and new relationships. I wouldn't have met the amazing friends if I didn't say yes to the Peru trip. Saying yes affirms and emboldens people, placing trust on the proposal they have to offer you. I wouldn't have satisfied my burning curiosity in the cloud if I didn't say yes to becoming a co-host on the Azure podcast and trusting that the original host saw something in me. Saying yes makes life so much more fun. I wouldn't be standing right here on the stage if I wasn't looking for the thrill of becoming a TEDx speaker. What is the worst that could happen? As we continue to say yes more often, we build up our resilience and we continue to push the boundaries of our comfort zone. What used to be uncomfortable is now palatable, and what was comfortable now second nature. So now, I invite you, all of you to take out your phone. I'll wait, I'll wait. And either you like to use your email, your calendar, or any sort of reminder task, I would like you to write down that one thing you would say yes to. That one thing could be stepping out of the red dot. That one thing could be saying yes to dancing at the wedding. It could be a new speech, becoming the tech speaker for 2024. It could be that date you've been waiting to ask someone out who was really special to you. A call to a friend that you haven't talked to for a long time, but you're really hoping to get in touch again. Say yes and embrace all the amazing things that come after. Thank you.